Hello and welcome to German lessons with Mr. Ferguson. Hallo und herzlich willkommen zum Deutschunterricht mit Herrn Ferguson. Diese achte Stunde über die Zeitformen, this eighth tenses lesson, ist wie man das Passiv im Präsens benutzt. How to use the passive voice in the present tense. Before we start, before we anfangen, please remember to like this video, bitte klickt gefällt mir, and to subscribe to my channel, so that I can keep helping you with your German. Bitte vergesst nicht zu abonnieren. If you're enjoying my videos, please consider buying me a coffee by clicking the banner now. All contributions are gratefully received and allow me to continue to bring you new and exciting German content whilst keeping it free to access on YouTube. Thank you to those of you who've already contributed. It's very much appreciated. Vielen Dank. In this series of lessons, we are going to be talking about the passive voice. Though this is technically not a tense, I feel that it fits best in the German Tenses Made Easy playlist, as we will be learning how to use the passive voice in several different tenses. For us to start, though, we need to understand what the passive is and what it looks like in English. In English, we have two types of sentence that use what we call a voice. These are active and passive. An active sentence is where a noun, i.e. a person or a thing, is doing an action i.e. a verb. For example, I am eating the apple. I is the subject of the sentence, and the verb is am eating. The direct object, the thing affected by the verb in this case, is the apple. The passive is where the fact that this eating of the apple is important, but who is eating it is not. So this sentence, written in the passive rather than the active voice, would therefore be the apple is being eaten. In English, we now have an option. If we want to, we can include the word by and show who or what is doing the eating, but this is completely optional. To do this, we would add the words by me to the end of the passive sentence. In this example, the word me can be referred to as the agent, who is the person or thing doing the action. It really is important to realise that this is entirely optional. Here are some other English examples. Active. My mother is writing a book. Passive. A book is being written, with an optional by my mother. Active. A tornado destroyed the city. Passive. The city was destroyed. Optional, by a tornado. To form the passive, there are a few things which we all need to be comfortable with. And the first is how the verb werden conjugates. I covered this in my Forming the Future Tense video. So if you haven't seen that yet or require a recap, please click the banner now. The forms of werden are Ich werde Du wirst er, sie, es, man, wird. Wir werden. Ihr werdet. And sie und sie werden. The next thing you need in order to form the passive is a knowledge of what a past participle is and how to form them with regular and irregular verbs. I covered a number of these in my Perfect Tense Made Easy video. So if you need to recap this, please click this banner now. So, now that you have a knowledge of werden and the past participles, we can go ahead and make a present tense passive sentence. So let's look at the apple is being eaten, which is the same as the apple is eaten in German. The subject of this sentence is the apple, der Apfel. Note that this is in the nominative case, which is normal for the subject of a sentence. We now need the correct form of werden in the present tense. The apple is an it, so we use the it form of werden, which is wird. If there were any extra information in the sentence, we would put that now. In this sentence, there isn't any, so we can finish off with a past participle. The past participle, which means ate or eaten, is gegessen. So therefore, the apple is being eaten, or the apple is eaten, is der Apfel wird gegessen. 
It's likely that most passive sentences will either use a third person singular, he, she, it, or third person plural, they, subject. And so most present tense passive sentences will be made with either wird or werden and a past participle. Here are some more examples of passive voice sentences in the present tense. Ein Buch wird geschrieben. A book is being written or a book is written. Die Juwelen werden gestohlen. The jewels are being stolen or the jewels are stolen. Ich werde jeden Tag beobachtet. I am being watched every day. As I mentioned earlier, passive sentences can include what we call an agent, which is the person or thing doing the action, but this is completely optional. To do this in German, we include it in the extra information section, between the form of werden and the past participle, and we use the following words and cases. We use von and the dative case if the agent is what we call animate. That means it's a living thing, so a person or an animal. We use durch and the accusative case if the agent is what we call inanimate, so if it's not alive. And here are some examples. Ein Buch wird von meinem Vater geschrieben. A book is being written by my father. Die Juwelen werden von den Dieben gestohlen. The jewels are being stolen by the thieves. Ich werde jeden Tag von dir beobachtet. I am being watched by you, in an informal singular sense, every day. Die Stadt wird durch einen Tornado zerstört. The town is being destroyed by a tornado. Note that when the inanimate tornado is doing the destroying, we have to use durch plus the accusative. If you need to recap the accusative and dative cases, please start by recapping the accusative by clicking the banner now. So that's how to use the passive voice in the present tense. It's a good idea to pause the video now to recap the conjugations of werden in the present tense and how to structure a passive sentence by using the following word order. Subject, form of werden, extra information, past participle. Habe ich etwas vergessen? If you're a native German speaker and think I've forgotten something important about the passive in the present tense, please let me know in the comments. Bitte schreibt einen Kommentar. Finally, remember to click subscribe to receive all of my German lesson videos, language learning tips and updates. You can follow me on Instagram with the username Herr Ferguson or on Twitter under at Herr Ferguson. Otherwise, from me, it's Danke und Auf Wiedersehen.